Okay, we are back on the world map, and we have a choice where we can go. We can go to either Denerim or the something something outskirts. I'm going to go to Denerim, basically the capital city of Ferelden. And I'm sure we will be interrupted along the way. Of course. Will you stop eating? Ah, oh, let's rush these bastards. Enemies approaching. Start killing. Kill, kill. Grumpy bandit, huh? Kill them all now! Oh, you chase that one, I'll chase this one. Oh, it's the leader. Sweet. Oh, they must see someone else. Oh, they're way out of it. How the hell did they know they were there? Dead. Ah, oh, crap, I don't really want or need, but I'll take it anyway. That way I can sell it later on. Still must be enemies present because they haven't put their weapons away yet. Sweet. Yes, of course. I'll do it. Haha. <laughs> yes. Where the hell were you? you? Didn't follow the other ones? Weird. Um, I've progressed pretty far into this game. This is episode 41, I believe. And it actually marks a point which I've completed like a pretty good amount of the game up to this point. But, I mean, this game could have easily been like 200 episodes or more or something. Had I been willing to go and complete a lot of the side quests and stuff, not willing to go and do that, though. I I don't want this series to be too long. So I'm doing some of the side quests, like killing Morgan's mother, that kind of stuff. Disarm failed. I'll let him run through that trap. He'll be dumb enough to do it. Oh, didn't kill him. Okay, now it's got to so be it. Haha! <laughs> and, uh, I mean, it, the series could have been quite a bit longer. Now we've reached the market district of Denerim. Denerim is a huge city, the biggest in the game. And moving around in Denerim is similar to moving around in the Deep Roads, in the sense that it is a large area with its own overworld map where you have to go from one area to another and do all that kind of stuff in an attempt to um, advance from one area to another and all that kind of stuff. Now there are fewer dark spawn around here obviously and there are a lot of other quests that we can do around here. Let's um... let's go on. Are the work of our maker's hand. Ooh, the Chander's board. It shall be done. Eliminate these criminals preying on innocent folk in Denerim's back alleys. In these dark times, we must work together against a common threat. Sergeant Kalon has brought disturbing news that should anger all righteous people. In our own alleyways, footpads, muggers, and miscreants lie in wait to profit from the chaos of our times. They infect us like a plague. 
A ward is available for any information on these low lives. Sergeant Kalen has offer, also offered a heavy purse for any brave travelers that can best these braggarts and make Darum a safe place once again. This humble chanter has added to the reward as well. May the Maker bless all who heed this call. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to take all of them. No, I didn't read them. I don't care to, because I don't need to read them. If I happen to do any of these quests while just running around, great, so be it. If not, then who gives a crap? I do not have the party that I want for moving through here. I'm going to I'm going to back out so I can change my party members and I'll be right back. I don't want this crew. I am using currently a different recording software, because this game is pretty buggy. When you add in the effect of Bandicam, Indeed. Yes. Yes. which is a hardware accelerated... Oh, we have new options. Refugees. Civil War. Blah, blah. When you add in the potential bugginess of the hardware acceleration of Bandicam, the game just... All right. Crashes too freaking often. And I have a hard time getting through this part of the game. So I've switched over the fraps for the recording of this, which gives me a few lesser options. Wait, where are you going? Puppy! Where is your mother and father? <laughs> Puppy! If he comes with us, he's gonna have to fight Darkspawn. I know he's too young. That's my point. Ha! <laughs> my puppy got himself a pet boy. Okay, moving on. Uh, one more thing I want to do before ending this episode. Right around here. That's my sister's house. I'm almost sure of it. This is yes, this is the right address. She could be inside. Could we go and see? Would you rather meet her on your own? Do I seem a little nervous? I am. I really don't know what to expect. I'd like you to be there with me if you're willing. Or we could leave, I suppose. We really don't have time to pay a visit, do we? Maybe we should go. Fine, let's see if she's home. Will she even know who I am? Does she even know I exist? My sister. That sounds very strange. Sister. Sister. Hmm. Oh, now I'm babbling. Maybe we should go. Let's go. Let let's just go. Uh, hello? Hey, you have linens to wash? I charge three bits on a bundle, you won't find better. And don't trust what that Natalia woman tells you either. She's foreign and she'll rob you blind. I'm not here to have any wash done. <laughs> uh, my name's Alistair. I'm... Well, this may sound sort of strange, but... Are you called Dana? If so, I suppose I'm your brother. My what? I am Goldana, yes. How do you know my name? What kind of tomfoolery are you folk up to? No tomfoolery. He's telling the truth. Listen to him. Look, our mother, she worked as a servant in Redcliffe Castle a long time ago before she died. D do you know about that? She... You! I knew it! They told me you was dead. They told me the babe was dead along with mother, but I knew they was lying. They told you I was dead? Who? Who told you that? Them's at the castle. I told them the babe was the king's, and they said he was dead. Gave me a coin to shut my mouth, and sent me on my way. I knew it. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. The babe didn't die. I'm him. I'm your brother. <sighs> For all the good it does me. You killed mother, you did, and I've had to scrape by all this time. That coin didn't last long, and when I went back, they ran me off. It's hardly Alistair's fault, is it? And who in the Maker's name are you? Some servant of his to carry all his riches, I expect. Hey, don't speak to him that way. He's my friend. 
and a Grey Warden just like me. Oh, I see. A prince and a Grey Warden too. Well, who am I to think poorly of someone so high and mighty compared to me? I don't know you, boy. Your royal father forced himself on my mother and took her away from me. And what do I got to show for it? Nothing. They tricked me good. I should have told everyone. I got five mouths to feed. And unless you can help with that, I got less than no use for you. I... I'm sorry, I... don't know what to say. Goldana, Alistair came here hoping to find his family. Well... So he's found it. I'm his sister. But what are you to me, boy? Except the one who took my mother away, hmm? You think I wished her dead? I never wanted that. I didn't have the life you think I did, Goldana. I suppose not. A bastard is still a bastard, isn't he? But... Brother or no, I've got five mouths to feed and no time to spare until they are. And let me promise you this, Goldana. I'll do whatever I can. Speak to whomever I have to. To ensure you and your children are taken care of. Hmm. That sounds all well and fine. But you'll have to forgive me if I don't exactly hold my breath. You have my promise. I can't give you more than that. I... Let's go. I want to go. Goodbye, sister. Well, that was not what I expected, to put it lightly. I lived up to my promise, I suppose, but this is the family I've been wondering about all my life? I can't believe it. I... I guess I was expecting her to accept me without question. Isn't that what family is supposed to do? I... I feel like a complete idiot. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry it turned out like this. Yes, I'm sorry too. I guess I should have known better. Let's just go. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I once had my portrait painted by an artist in the square here. It wasn't very good. Oh, thanks for that input. <laughs> 